Alrighty, guys, got some really good footage for you in this one. Um, I had a dumb idea to try to drive through the creek and uh, ended up getting stuck for like three hours. So I tried to boil it down to a few minutes here, but it was a long process. Big shout out to everyone that helped me get out. Um, people were helping me climb through thorn bushes, throwing me ropes, give me rides up to the parking lot to get my truck, to get the come along. It was a huge team effort. Um, got it out with doing very little damage to the buggy. When you get in a situation like this, it's important to not, you know, don't let someone snatch you out. You got to use a winch. You got to go slow and take your time to figure out what's going on. So I know what you're thinking. There is no way in hell that was going to work. Um, and you're, you're probably right. But uh, I always try stuff because there's like a 1% chance it might work. And then it's cool. Um, but I actually have gone down this canal before. Um, in a couple other videos like my 300 and my Talon. Um, the difference is I got kind of unlucky here and got my front passer tire just wedged under a giant cypress stump that was below the water. And I couldn't see it until like halfway through this video. I didn't know what was going on. Um, so... Uh, there's a link in the description for the last time I attempted this in the Talon, and here's a little clip from uh, from that video. Yeah, so same thing happened in this video. There was a roadblock on the canal road. I said, screw that, I'm going to take the fun way, drop down in here, throw a bunch of thorns. Um, had to do a little bit of winching, but this is a pretty much stock Talon on 32s, some cut tires I made, and it made it through there and climbed out on its own power. So it is possible, right? almost got stuck right about here um, but I was able to rock it back and forth a million times and uh, get it out of the hole um, stuff like this is definitely easier to go through when it's wetter I've usually attempted this after like a big storm and you can kind of float through here but when it's low like that all the mud just from the side just kind of condenses it in the center and it is goopy and nasty two hours later yeah I went back and forth Austin Powers did and finally got out Quick shout out to Tarachi Tires. There's no other tire in the market that would get you out of that situation I was in right there. Um, those tires have excellent reverse traction, so you can hit it back and forth and loosen up the mud, then plow through it. The <laughs> fish jumping. <laughs> oh, Big tree. Good. So while I always enjoy getting stuck in recoveries like this, these blackberry bushes really tested my patience. I am all cut up. Here, it's full of thorns. Right. Oh, the briars are oh. bitch. I'm oh, surprised good. you made it as far as you did. That's a sap. Yeah. It's totally balled up and shit down here. Oh yeah. That's weird. Is the tire run broken? Well, it's, I can feel a bend, but it feels like it's still connected. 
Yeah, this winch rope is not doing very good. This old one. Can you wrap this a little higher on the tree? I basically gotta pull the front wheels off the ground because it's. Get out of the way. The problem is this this passenger tire is just totally pointing the wrong direction. Excellent. Ah, there we go. It's just weeds everywhere. It's moving. That's okay. That's all right. So we've got two winches hooked up here, one pulling it up, one pulling it forward with a snatch block. So there's a lot of pressure on everything. And that stump was just caught inside the wheel because the wheel was pointing 90 degrees to the right. 8,000 RPMs. <laughs> So at this point, we weren't getting anywhere. We had to give up and go get the Lexus that had the come along, the more power puller, and then uh, restart the recovery. All right, so we got the come along right here. Right. It's a Honda. It is important to note that at this point, it had been sitting under water for two and a half hours, exhaust under, everything under. And believe it or not, my belt didn't get wet. All right, so we got a team of 18 people up there gonna take turns clicking. We should get out eventually. Now we're going out backwards to go forward. So in the end, the solution was to winch it backwards and then winch it forwards, but to the left um, around the stump. And then also what really made all the difference was we hooked the, the rope to the tire itself. So it pulled the tire towards the truck and kept it from pointing off you know, all into the bushes and all wonky. Uh, that was a great idea, whoever came up with that. You got it straightened up, fuck yeah. <laughs> Finally, God, that thing's been pointing literally 90 degrees that way all day. Better, yeah. Stand clear, Mike. That's okay, it's going to. I'm gonna steer with the one that's on the low side. Yep. Go ahead. So my camera actually died right before we got it out. Luckily, some people in the bank got it on video for me and emailed it to, emailed it to me. Thank you very much. Um, so this is what happened. The tie rod bent when I slammed into that tree and we started winching on it with the swamp buggy. And then because it was so bent, I couldn't really steer that wheel. The tie rod was just kind of flopping around. Um, I don't have the steering stops the Super ATV gives you with the Ford Arms. If I had limited my steering travel, maybe it would have prevented this. But in any case, um, the tire got so turned to the right, it popped the axle out of the cup because it was you know more than 90 degree angle. Uh, if you include the down droop at full droop and then all the way, you know, 90 degrees almost to the right. So uh, I got a little bit of work to do to fix it. No big deal. We got almost all the parts in stock. Had to order a tie rod and we'll get it back on the trail and uh, try to kill this thing. It's really hard to kill. But uh, yeah, it drove itself on the trailer. <laughs>